Thank you very much for this afternoon's lunch. When I received the date, fourth of May. <laughs> Maybe the part of main movement <laughs> in the history of modern China is memorable. Without that movement, there is no China today. That's why I studied history in the old university of Singapore. In the old Bukit Timor campus. Because at that time China was a sick man of Asia. From 1911, Republic of China, the fall of the imperial regime. Then the Republican came in, and then under Sadat Singh, what long and Jacob Sheik was a very corrupt government. That gave rise to the formation of the Communist Party it was July 1921. And it took them 28 years before they drove the KMP to Taiwan. So when I look at the date, 4th of May, I was a little bit shocked. Maybe the organizer. <laughs> It's very well grounded in the history of modern China. <laughs> if you follow the development of China today, there's a series on China CCTV 4 from 2 to 5 3 hours every day. You see the old leaders now. Mao Zedong, today. <laughs> You put one and all these people you know, who live in the jungle, live in the jungle, they don't know when the next meal will come from. As I said, July the first, 21, formation of the CCP in Shanghai. So, 1949, 28 years ago, they started. If I talk a little bit of this about China, although we are Malaysian by nationality, but in our blood, we cannot escape that we are Chinese. There's a saying in Chinese, in Sui Su Yen. <laughs> when I was small, during the Japanese time where I had to go to Japanese school, so I learned I will kaki kukeko manabelemo. And we have to sing Mingayo, the Japanese national anthem, and call using the kiss three times. And after Japanese occupation, <laughs> My father, too, occupied with his construction job. My uncle sent me to a private school, yeah, studying literature. The Sun Tzu Chen, the Su Tzu Chen, the Chen Tzu Chen. I studied these Chinese classics in Cantonese, Chen Tzu Chen. I'm from the little island of my ancestors came from Kim Oh. 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 Now we still, my brother is going by to see relative there in the ancestor school. But I have never no urge to go like that. The Kimung is opposite in Moi Siam. They say if there's a low time, you can walk from Siam to Kimung. To walk across the narrow street. So, as I say, when you grow older, the human instinct is more pronounced. Newspaper, the government might 
tell us to become Malaysian this and that. But it's difficult. My name is still Yatongkun, you know. Amar or some other name. Sorry to tell you such long story. <laughs> Thank you very much for this. this. <laughs> now there are only Skolak Pang San and but necklace who's left. So if the children you don't know where to send the children to to study. Go to Chinese school. Or to go to school at the Bangsan. Nowadays, uh, the Hua Jin High School in Wat Wat, the Tu Chong, was dying a natural death. But then in 1980, when they started to convert all the English schools into school at the Bangsan, and that gave a lifeline to the Chinese high school in Wat Wat. So now there is not enough classrooms. So they raise money for this Tutong Chinese school, like Luang Independent School. We don't receive a cent from the government, right? We pay taxes, we pay income tax, we pay company tax. But then that is the reality of life here. Although I study political science in the old University of Singapore, that is a very strange phenomenon. In politics, numbers come. Independence, 31st August 1957, Chinese was about 40% of the population of Malaysia. 47% that time. Now it's below 30. Below 30%. That is why. Uh, some of my friends, uh, I, uh, I do not know. Many migrated uh, to Australia, Sydney. I, I do not know why. You go there, you think you become first class citizen, or you stay here and fight <laughs> for your rights. Some went there, a few years, one friend, lawyer, came back. <coughs> But then sometimes people say uh, the grass is supposed to be the greener on the other side of the mountain. <laughs> but sometimes you see not green grass but brown grass and <laughs> go grazing in some other field. Many of us here already, parents, when we met for the first time, 1980 to February 85, your students in some form of colleagues here. The students have become adults, uh, all of you become adults, parents, and the former teacher like Chakra, Mr. Chong, and so on. To the passage of time, you can see. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I don't know when we meet next, maybe they will. We do have a left. That is time. That's the same goes time and time waits for nobody. No man. All you have to do, you have to do it now. You can wait tomorrow, 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 you may never come. If you read English literature, I'm speaking Macbeth. Macbeth. In English literature in Macbeth, there is one section called soliloquy, it means the person talks to himself. On the rock. <laughs> so you will see Macbeth talking to himself. It's soliloquy about the passage of time. So like I don't know whether you have seen this Chinese film, Yi Chang Chun's Yi Xiang Fong. 
I went to see this in Mekong Utong Lekker. Utong is a free show, no? but at the entrance there's a donation box. No? So sometimes uh, you get advertisement you know, that bring back all these old things. No? Japan person also. <laughs> And when I drove to my girl at night, went to see the film. I'm sure some of you still remember the old Japan person song, a very haunting song. Huh? You hear the song at night, you then go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a very nice, but it, as I said, it's a very haunting song. Huh? Just like opportunities come to, comes away. You don't take it just like the river. You don't jump into the same river twice, only once. <laughs> so thank you very much for listening to my all these cock and bull stories. <laughs> <laughs>